And one thing that nobody talks about, nobody, not even the instructions, you look at this. So if we moved out to the country uh, and we realized that we have poor service area and this is really for anybody that has a poor service area uh, where they live or work, maybe your shop is out there. I purchased a signal booster, it was $135 and then additionally I bought a bracket. This bracket was 20 bucks, 135 bucks. This stuff is pretty easy. The only thing you need to know is really the most important part is which way the antenna is gonna go. All of this stuff uh, comes in one small box like that and then I spent the additional money and bought a bracket. Uh, you can make these probably uh, but I just spent the $20. I think I got it on sale for $17 on Amazon as well and it comes in a, a bag like that. Now I've used the app and for this bracket all you need to know is this is how it's assembled. That's it. Now you have we have an app well, there's several apps that you can use for finding your tower. The one I'm using is Open Signal, and the way this works is you follow the arrow, you download the app, follow the arrow, it points that way, and it actually shows you where the uh, where the tower is. Now, what's nice is that if you click on buttons here, you'll see a whole list of operators and where they are. It's actually really nice. You can also test your speed. I actually don't get too bad of speed here. Uh, being outside, oh, I'm sorry. I gotta turn off the Wi-Fi and we'll redo the test. So when you do a, t a speed test on this app, which is nice that you can do that, you can do a video test and a speed test and a dog test. Um, so you click on speed test and you can see I get about 13.7 download latency is 46 upload is abysmal 1.2 1.1 okay and then you can actually say where you tested that that was outdoor and then we're gonna do a different test the only other test that I need to do is the inside test. So if I were to be on my couch indoors, you can see I only get one bar now. And we'll do a speed test here. All right, we're gonna do this again. I couldn't even get past the latency test last time I tried, so let's test it. This is indoor by the couch. So there's no change. I'm going to give up and move on with the installation. And we know that the tower is that way. So the way this bracket is supposed to go is what you want to do is you want to point it towards it. So this is kind of what it would look like. I ended up installing the bracket with just five star bit screws. It went right on there. It wasn't very difficult. You just got to be safe. All right. So... We got it about 50 feet or as much as the cable allows us. Um, you got to make sure before you plug in the power, you connect everything else. So we'll connect the cable first. This is indoor. This is outdoor. It's pretty self-explanatory. You take the antenna. You screw that in. Okay, that's tight. Plug this in, and then we go into an outlet. And it'll actually say on it, run. You could see it right there. It'll actually get hooked up. And one thing that nobody talks about, nobody, not even the instructions, 
you look at this, and I don't know if it zooms in enough, but right over here, it says before use, you must register with your service provider. I called Verizon. That takes eight up to eight to 10 days. So this is where I ran the, uh, the antenna. I'm gonna probably have to move it a little bit to adjust it. But I just noticed that I went inside and I wanted to do a, wanted to do a, I just ran this temporary. We're still moving into the house. Um, but I did a speed test. We got 15 here, 16, look at that. One point three, one point two upload, one point one. Let's see what it is inside. This is the area where I did not get any service whatsoever. I couldn't even pass the latency test. And look at that. I went from having just one or two megabytes a second, and I quadrupled that amount. The upload speed is still not too great. I'm going to get a longer cable and put that extender inside and I think we're going to do a lot better.